Another day, another story. Please subscribe and like at 365 How. Microchips, also known as integrated circuits, ICs, are manufactured through a complex process known as semiconductor fabrication or semiconductor manufacturing. The process involves several stages, including designing the chip layout, creating the wafer, and implementing various layers and structures. Here's a simplified overview of the microchip manufacturing process. 1. Chip Design Engineers design the circuit layout and functionality of the microchip using computer-aided design CAD, tools. This involves determining the arrangement of transistors, interconnections, and other components. 2. Wafer Fabrication The chip fabrication process begins with a semiconductor wafer, usually made of silicon. The wafer is typically a thin, circular, and highly purified slice of silicon crystal. It undergoes a series of steps to create the necessary structures. A. Photolithography. A light-sensitive photoresist is applied to the wafer surface. A photo mask, containing the desired patterns, is placed over the wafer. An ultraviolet light is used to transfer the pattern onto the photoresist. This step defines the circuit features and transistor structures. B. Etching. Chemical or plasma etching is performed to remove the photoresist and selectively remove or modify the underlying material. This step creates the desired patterns and structures on the wafer surface. C. Ion implantation. Ion implantation is used to modify the electrical properties of specific regions on the wafer. Ions of dopant materials, e.g., phosphorus or boron, are accelerated and implanted into the wafer, altering its conductivity. D. Deposition. Thin layers of materials, such as metals or insulators, are deposited onto the wafer surface using techniques like chemical vapor deposition CVD, or physical vapor deposition PVD. These layers form various components, interconnects, and insulating structures. E. Lithography and etching, repeated. The photolithography and etching steps are repeated several times to build the multiple layers and complex structures required for the integrated circuit. 3. Testing and Packaging After wafer fabrication, each chip is tested to ensure functionality and quality. Faulty chips are discarded. The good chips are then separated, cut, and packaged into individual integrated circuit packages. Packaging protects the chip and provides electrical connections for integration into electronic devices. 4. Final Testing and Quality Control Packaged chips undergo additional testing to verify functionality, performance, and reliability. These tests may include functional tests, parametric tests, and environmental stress tests to ensure the chips meet the required specifications. 5. Distribution and Integration the final packaged microchips are distributed to electronics manufacturers and integrated into various devices, such as computers, smartphones, and appliances, as part of the broader electronic assembly process. It's important to note that the semiconductor fabrication process is highly complex and involves advanced equipment, cleanroom environments, and precise control over multiple parameters. The process requires expertise in semiconductor physics, materials science, engineering, and manufacturing techniques. If you like the video please subscribe and like it 365 How.